Hello, hello. Hello, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Welcome to another week. So so. Why El? Why so so? Hello, teacher. Hi, Maritza. How are you? Why are you feeling so so, Elisa? Es que tengo ya como 15 días con este mi enfermedad que no me quiere dejar. Oh my goodness. Well. Sí, de hecho, hoy estuve en la unidad de salud porque llevaba un cansancio que yo pensé que me iban a mandar para, para el hospital, pero gracias a Dios no. Oh my God. No me mandaron para allá, pero sí, este, no se me quiere quitar. Mm, ya, yeah, hay que mandaron por segunda vez para, para la casa. I think you need to go to the doctor because that can be something a little bit like to take care of. Quizás tenga que ser algo de más cuidado con más detalle. Yo sugeriría que sí, si fuera al, al médico de nuevo. Sí, sí, yo fui, yo fui hoy, este, pero creo que mañana iré directamente al seguro para ver si ellos me pueden quizás hacer la prueba del COVID porque sí ya me, me preocupó bastante. Si yeah. no, pues quizás me la haré particular, pero sí. Yeah, I think it's better because if you're feeling tired, I mean, that's something to take care of. Hello, Mr. Omar. Welcome. Hello, Rosario. Welcome to the class. So, Eli, I think it's better if you go to check, to check if, if it's if it's that and if it's not like that, so it's, it's even better, right? But you are preventive. Okay, so, uh, well, welcome to another another week. The last week that we are going to be together, it is very sad to think about it, but yeah, it's the last week that we are going to be together. Siento que me los acaban de prestar y ya me los van a quitar. Yeah, but yeah, it's our last week. And we're going to be working a lot, right? We have a lot of things to do during this week. For sure, we are going to be completing all the activities, all the sessions, and we are going to be completing the platform. And for sure, you are going to finish your week presenting, right? You are going to have a little uh, oral evaluation as the final day. You are going to have an oral exam. <laughs> what is that, you say? You are going to have a presentation. I am going to send you the details of what you are going to present on Thursday, okay? On Thursday is the presentation and Juan is like, what? Yes, we are going to, it's a very short presentation, one minute or two minutes, right? Don't worry about this because it's about you, about your learning, your performance, the activities that we have done. And it is going to be only one or two minutes, okay? Don't worry about that. I am going to send you the details for the presentation at the end of the class so you can prepare, right? It's not like you are going to be presenting tomorrow, right? No, the presentation is on Thursday. So we have three days to prepare. And you are going to speak for two minutes, one or two minutes maximum. What is the presentation about? The presentation is about the things that you learn, the things that you didn't know, the things that were new to you, and for sure your expectations for the next level. And I am going to send you all the details, okay? It's something very simple. It is not for you to worry. It's like, oh my God, I need to prepare. I need to get the algebra and the calculator, no. It's not about that, okay? The presentation is simple, but important because it is going to help me to listen to you, to listen to your pronunciation, to listen to your intonation, to evaluate your oral performance, right? Maybe, maybe the other teachers are not going to make exams to you at the end, but 
I really like to check the product that I am sending to the next teacher. Okay, yo siempre les digo, este es como el control de calidad. Yo siempre les hago la última evaluación. Quizás los otros docentes más adelante no les van a hacer examen oral al final, pero a mí me gusta siempre pulir el producto que voy a mandar a las siguientes manos. Okay. Que no me digan, uy, la teacher no corrigió esa palabra tan sencilla. Y la teacher no se dio cuenta que no podía decir eso. No. I really like to be careful with my product, right? You are like my little babies that I am sending to the other teacher. Okay, I say like, me los cuida, se los mando bien buzos. <laughs> so that is why I like to do this oral exam, this oral presentation for you to be totally ready and complete for the next level. Okay, so the presentation is when? When is the presentation? Cuando? Um. Thursday? On Thursday, right? On Thursday. It is the last day of classes, right? In the last day of classes, it's going to be the presentation, the oral exam, okay? Good. So that is for Thursday. Huh. It's like the welcome thing that I gave you today. So we are going to work today. We are going to work a little bit on what we started last class. We started working on the different sports, right? We started working on sports, and that's what we are going to continue doing. And to do this, <coughs> I am going to share my screen here. Let me share my screen. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Here we go. Okay. In the previous class, we were talking about sports, right? Can you give me some examples of the names of the sports that we learned in the last class? Some names of a sports. Basketball. Basketball, good. What else? Soccer. Soccer. Another one. Baseball. Baseball, good. Another one. More examples. I want more examples of a sport. Tennis. Tennis. Very good. Tennis. Another one. Karate. Karate. Good. Karate. Karate. Yay. Another one. More Fútbol names. Americano. How do you say that in English? Football. American football. Very good. Football, American football. Golf. Golf, very good. The most interesting. Uh, okay, good. I am going to make a stop here. This one is swimming. Uh, swimming. Swimming. It's swimming. a very common mistake. That's a very, very common mistake that you say is swimming. And that's a swimming. very common thing for all the English speakers. But it's swimming, right? Swimming. Good. Any other example? I need three more, three more examples. Running. Running, very good. Running, I need another one. Which one? Think about Zumba. it. Zumba. <laughs> well, that would be dancing, right? Dancing. Okay. Yeah, dancing is considered a sport now that you go and you practice there with aerobics, right? I am going to include aerobics as well. And give me the last one. Baseball. Baseball. We have baseball. Give me another one. We have baseball on the on the board. Another one, another one. Think about all the ones that you like when, when you were younger. Todo lo que hacía cuando estábamos más jóvenes. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice pesca? Ah, very good Fishing. question. Fishing. Es un deporte. Yes, it is, it is a sport. It is called fishing. Fishing, right? Fishing, fishing for fish and mm -hmm. ING, the action of getting the fish, right? Okay. Fishing. Thanks. Excellent. Very good job. Now. What we are going to do here 
is to create different sentences with each of them. And I am going to assign a word to each of you. Let me see. <clears throat> Rosario is going to make one sentence with a basketball, okay? You have to create one sentence with the word basketball. Maximo is going to create one with running. Running. Here I am going to write the name of the person in charge. Basketball is going to be for Rosario. And running is going to be for Maximo. Dancing is going to be for Elizabeth. <laughs> Aerobics is going to be for Iris. Fishing is going to be for Luis because he likes fishing. <laughs> Let me see. Soccer is going to be for Juan. Let's see. Juan. Soccer is going to be for Juan. Uh, basketball, oh, sorry, baseball is going to be for Patricia. Tennis is going to be for Arvin. Karate is going to be for Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia, nice to see you. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm missing Omar. Omar is going to be American football. Omar is going to be American football. And let me see. I think I have all of you. I think I have all of you. Yes? I have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm missing one. Who's missing? Let me see. Let me see. Maritza. Yes. Golf is going to be for Maritza. Maritza. Good. So I think I have everything. And swimming is going to be for teacher Nati. Right? So I am going to give you the example. I am going to give you the example on the sentence that I was assigned. A mí me tocó swimming, right? So my sentence is going to be, I like to go swimming uh, with my family. I like to go swimming with my family. That is my sentence. Create your sentences. Did you see my example? I like to go swimming with my family. You can give me more details, right? I like to go swimming on Saturdays with my family. I like to go swimming to El Mahawal with my family. I like to go swimming every day with my family, okay? Create a very complete sentence. Okay. <clears throat> I go fishing with my friends on Sunday in the morning. I go fishing with my friends. Oh, wait, my God. With my friends on Sunday morning. Good. I go fishing with my friends on Sunday morning. Very good. When you don't say on Sunday in the morning, right? You say on Sunday morning in this oh, case. Okay. I go fishing okay. with my friends. The pronunciation is friends. Oh, I go yeah. fishing with my friends. Friends. Arvin, uh, go ahead. Friends. 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 Arvin, go ahead. I don't like play tennis with my boss on Sunday. Okay. Hey, you're very lucky. <laughs> I okay, Arvin. I am going to write it here. It says <laughs> I like. Play tennis. I don't like I don't like play ah. tennis with my boss. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. I don't like play tennis. Okay, I don't like play tennis. Oh my god. Me puse nervios. With my boss on Sunday. What is the problem with that sentence? ¿Qué nos pasa en esta oración? ¿Qué falta ahí? I don't like play tennis with my boss. What is the problem? Like to. I don't like to. After like, you have to use to. Oh, okay. I don't like to. Very good. I don't like to. Excellent. We have Iris and Maximo. 
wait. Tell me. It is in maximum. Go ahead. I don't I don't like to I love it, but I love I like love basketball. Okay. I don't like I don't like to aerobics. Ah, okay. I don't like to aerobics. It's okay. Yo la pongo, la pongo como dice. I don't like to aerobics, but, but I, I love. love. Ah, I, I love. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I love. I love. <laughs> <laughs> but I love. Basket, play basketball. Okay. That's good. That's good. Aquí todos vamos a aprender juntos. Okay, let's correct this sentence. I don't like to aerobics, but I love play basketball. I don't like, ¿qué ocupamos después de like? Two. Two, I don't like to. ¿Y aerobics va con tú o con do? Do. Do, porque es una actividad. I don't like to do aerobics, but I love, after love, like, and want, ocupamos to. I love to play basketball. Very good. Maximo, go ahead. Corrijamos. I go, uh -huh. I go running every day at the park. I go running every day. Every day at the park. Very good job. I go running every day at the park. You can say I go running every day to the park or at the park. It's the same thing and it's correct. The two of them are correct. Excellent, Maximo, very good job. Cynthia, go ahead. My best friend. My best friend. And, and me. Okay, my best friend and I. You say my best friend okay. and I. My best friend and I go to karate classes okay good go to karate classes every saturday afternoon every saturday afternoon good uh -huh. every saturday afternoon my best friend and i go to karate classes every saturday afternoon very good job cynthia very complete sentence very good thank you excellent let's continue who's next Who's next? I'm missing Rosario, Elizabeth, Juan, Patricia, Omar, and Maritza. Me puedo equivocar, ¿verdad? It's okay. Vale. That's why we are learning. Para eso estamos aquí. Yo estoy, yo estoy como confundida, pero vamos a ver. Ahí me la corrigen. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes I do, do dancing with my computer. Okay. Sometimes I... Let's say, let, I'm going to write it like that. To do dancing with my computer. With my what? Sorry? Com computer. Computer. Ah, <laughs> good, good, good. Com with my computer. Good. That's that's curious. Okay. Si pongo so, videos en el computador it, y me pongo a bailar. That's a very good thing. <laughs> so in this case, sometimes I, dancing, you do it with practice. I practice dancing with videos on my computer. There you go. Sometimes I practice dancing with videos on my computer. Good, very good job. Correct it, please. Yes. Uh, aquí no, llevo, no llevaría ni play, ni go, ni do. No, in this case, well, you can say, uh -huh. like you can say do dancing or go dancing if you go to a place. Uh -huh. si, va, si va a un lugar a bailar, por ejemplo, si va a la discoteca, un restaurante o algo, you can say I go dancing because you have to go to a place. I go dancing with my friends. But if you do it as a sport, you say I practice, I practice dancing. Okay. <laughs> In uh -huh. that case, it's practice, okay? Si va a un lugar a hacerlo, a bailar, ahí sí es go. Okay. Good. Patricia, go ahead. I to go play bas basketball, baseball, which my son 
in the park. Okay, it says, I to go play base, baseball with my son in the park. In this case, you say, I like, I like, right? I like, I like to go, to go to play. I like to go to play baseball with my son in the park. Good, in this case, the sentence is correct and complete. Very good job, thank you. Go up it like that. Rosario, go ahead. Rosario. I like I like to play best base, no basketball with, with my children. Very good. Very good job. I like to play best base, basketball. Basketball with my children. Very good job. You see? Excellent. Very good. I like to play basketball with my children. Excellent. Maritza and Juan, I am missing the two of you. It's okay, continue, continue preparing. Go ahead, Juan, go ahead. Okay, uh, I usually play soccer with my friend at the end of the match. We, we usually buy a soda. Okay, good. I usually play soccer with my friend and at the end of the match we buy we buy a soda, right? Let me see. I, I cannot see it. We we buy a soda. Okay. I usually play soccer with my friend and at the end of the match, we buy a soda. Very complete sentence right here. There you go. There you go. And you have a, a very complete sentence full of information. And Maritza, golf. You can take the examples of your friends. Ya puedes tomar los ejemplos de tus, de tus amigos ahí, los que ya creamos. Golf. Si no, entre todos ayudamos aquí para hacerla. Let's go, let's go, Maritza. You can do it. Teacher. Go ahead. Eh, me, va, me va corrigiendo porque casi... It's me... okay. <laughs> don't worry. Quería... Uh, I don't know. Play for... But I... I love play basketball. Very good. I do not like golf. I do not like golf, but I love to play basketball. Nice, sorry. Bas I do not like golf, but I love to play basketball. Very good sentence, Maritza. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you. See, Omar, your sentence. Hello. Um, Go ahead. I never play American football after the eat because that not is probably. I do. I never play American football after I eat because that not is probably. That is not able. Yeah. Okay, I never play American football after I eat because that is not, let's say, recommendable. Cambiemos el able. Because that is not recommendable. Okay, I never play American football after I eat because that is not recommendable. No se recomienda jugar después de comer. Good. And mostly with American football, that is full contact, right? You are going to be vomiting everything. So, you see, you can create better sentences far from, I like football, I love tennis, I love baseball, I play soccer, right? Because on Friday, I show you this. On Friday, I presented this, that it's just a chart for you to create the sentences in a very simple way, right? I go cycling, I go skiing, I go swimming. 
I go dancing, I play baseball, right? But with the sentences today, you have the opportunity to go a little bit beyond with it, okay? And that's the idea of the sentences. Very excellent job, the one you did, creating all these examples. And you can create many more. Just remember, play, go with the different games that use a ball, go with the ING, and do with the activities that don't use a ball. Do karate, do judo, do, judo, do gymnastics, do yoga, ballet, aerobics, zumba, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something that you need to keep in mind, okay? Here, I have a little conversation for you. And it says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Tell me, is Justin a very good athlete? No. <laughs> no, why? Why not? Why not? Because what? because he just TV. watches on TV. What are his favorite sports? Uh, hockey, mm -hmm. baseball, and soccer. Hockey, baseball, and soccer. Good, let me see. Does Lauren play sports? Does Lauren play sports, the lady? Does she play sports? No. No, right, because it's not mentioned. You don't know, no, no. right, you don't know, <laughs> definitely. Let me see. Mr. Omar, help me with the conversation. Mr. Omar is going to help me with the conversation, okay? It says, so Omar, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorites. Very good. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Um, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Very good. I don't play these sports, right? These because it's plural. Excellent, Omar. Very good job. Very good. Let me see. I am going to go with Mr. Juan Hernandez. You can change the information for your favorite sports, okay? It's not necessary that you mention the ones on the conversation. So, Juan, what do you do in your free time? Mm. When I have enough time uh -huh. i usually play video games or i play with my son oh what video games do you like i like call of duty uh i like fifa and something like that okay you're i think you are a very good video gamer and when uh, do you play video games what what days uh, I, on my days off the oh, yes on Sunday and Friday. Very good job. Excellent one. Very nice conversation. Thank Excellent. You. Very good job. Let's go with uh, Mr. Maximo. What do you do in your free time? I like <clears throat> I like to watch to watch TV. I, what programs do you like to watch? Sports. What kind of a sport? I watch um, boxing, uh -huh. tennis, Box, uh -huh. that's all. And that's all. Do you practice boxing and tennis? No, I don't <laughs> you, practice. In that case, you say, I just watch them. I just watch them on television. Very good. Fantastic job, Mr. Maximo. Let's go with... Uh, Patricia, what do you do in your free time? Uh, 
a like a light time with my son you like to spend time with your son really what yes. activities what activities do you do ¿Qué actividades hacen con su hijo? Um, eh, tareas, homework. Homework, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, football play. Good, we play football, good. Um, eh, movies. You watch movies, excellent. Yes. Very good information. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Very good job. Let's go with Cynthia. Cynthia, what do you do in your free time? Hello, Cynthia. Hello. Señorita Cynthia. Se nos fue a comprar pupusas. Okay, let's ask. Chin, chin, chin. Mr. Arvin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I walk with my pet. You walk with your pets. What yes. type of pets do you have? A uh, chihuahua. Ah, what a cute little thing. A chihuahua. What yes. time, what time do you go walking? At the Sunday morning. On Sunday morning. Very good job. Excellent information. Thank you, Arvin. Very nice. Miss Iris, what do you do in your free time? I watch TV. You watch TV. What programs do you like to watch? The movies, the sports, and Anime? In anime, really? Uh, uh. What what type of anime do you like? Oh, <laughs> uh, the Sailor Moon. <laughs> hey! That's fantastic. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Sailor Moon, hey, that's a classic, definitely. It's a beautiful program. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cuando me hará la tarde por el poder del prima lunar que se detenga el tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Rosario. Thank you very much, Iris. Rosario, what do you do in your free time? Eh, hacer tareas con mis hijos. No sé cómo se dice. Los children do do homework. Do homework. homework children. No, do homework with hom my with children. My children. Good. Do homework eh, with my children. Eh, Play soccer. Play soccer. Good. Uh, what watch TV. Watch TV. Watch uh, TV. No, no. What uh, programs uh, do you like? Infantiles. No, este caricatura infantil. Say cartoons. Sí. Cartoon. Por ejemplo, este bajo tierra, eh, los jóvenes titanes. <laughs> I like los jóvenes titanes. <laughs> So you say, I like to watch cartoons. For example, and you say, for example, the kitty cats, the teen titans, and then you start giving the examples, okay? Very good job, Rosario. Okay. Excellent answer, fantastic. And let me see. Ellie, what do you do in your free time? Um, I love to go to home my brother. Okay, you like to go uh, to your brother's house. Is it is it okay? A la casa de su hermano? No? Yes. Okay. I like to go to my brother's house. Where does your brother live? Where does he live? Donde vive? He live in Tres Seibas. Okay. He lives in Sonata. Sonsonate. Hey, beautiful, beautiful place. He lives near Sonsonate. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very beautiful answer. And I think I have asked all of you, right? And uh, the things that you do in your free time. Maritza, what do you do in your free time? Um, my goal is 
My one paper flower. What, what, what? My what? ¿Cómo se dice hacer flores de papel bone? Ah. My, bone, my boy paper flower. I make, I make. I make bone, I make bone. You can say paper flowers. I make paper flowers. Really? What a beautiful, what a beautiful thing. You have to send us a picture. Tiene que mandarnos una foto de, de cómo las deja. <laughs> so you, you like to make paper flowers. And that is for a business or for a hobby? Um, hobby. It's for a hobby. Very good job. Thank you, Maritza, for the information. So you see, you can give extra details. I didn't tell you to follow the conversation. No le dije. Tienen que hacer la propia conversación. Y ustedes decidieron irle cambiando, irle cambiando. And you give extra information. That is really good. Very nice. But we're going to practice this one, okay? I am Lauren and all of you are Justin. Todos ustedes son Justin. So, students, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Baseball. Soccer. Are my favorite. Okay. Favorite. Favorite. No. You say favorite. Favorites. Favorites. Wow. You are really good athletes. When do you play all these sports? Oh, oh, I don't I play this so I use watch. Watch. just watch them on television. Excellent job. I just watch them on television. <laughs> Fantastic. So I have here, I have here the different questions that I have been asking all of you. Okay. <laughs> I have here all the questions that I have been asking you. What do, what sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice and what time do you start? In this case, if I ask you the question, what sports, a qué me refiero? What, what is the meaning of what? Qué deporte. Qué deporte. Qué. Who? Cómo. Mm, who? No, con quién. Con quién, con quién right? Where? Yes. A dónde. A dónde. How often? Como por cada cuánto. Cada Más. cuánto, que tan seguido. When? Cuando. Cuando. What time? A qué hora? <laughs> okay. I always tell my students that I, I, I feel like if I am a very toxic girlfriend. What sport do you play? What time? With whom? Ah, huh? when? What time do you practice? Right? As my wife. My wife. <laughs> Como la, como la novia tóxica. ¿Y cuándo? ¿Y a qué horas? ¿Y dónde? ¿Y con quién? ¿Y qué tan seguido? ¿Y por qué? De mai. De mai. <laughs> so if I say, what sports do you play? The answer is, I play hockey and baseball. I play tennis and soccer. I play basketball and golf. You can change the answer. Who do you play with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Tenemos un equipo, right? We have a team. Where? We play at Hunter Park. How often? We practice once or twice a week. Una o dos veces a la semana. Once or twice a week. If this is for the frequency, okay? Si les pregunto how often, me pueden decir one, once a week, once a month, Every year, every month, every Monday, right? How often? But if I say when, I need a specific day. When? On Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays, right? We need a specific day for when. And what time? You need a specific time, okay? So I need one person to answer all these questions with information about him or herself. Alguien que me pueda contestar esa información acerca de cada uno de ustedes. Juan, very good job. You raise your hand. Mr. Juan, welcome to okay. Questions with Teacher Nati. Mr. Juan, what yes. sports do you play? I play soccer with my friend. Who do you play with? 
Who? With my friend, uh, Josue. Okay, with your friend, Josue. Where? In the neighborhood. <laughs> On the street, you said. How often yes. do you practice? I practice soccer. Uh, maybe three, three times in a week. Three times a week, very good. When yes. do you practice, a specific days? I practice soccer on Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. What time do you practice? I practice soccer at nine. At night, yes. at 9 yes. p.m. At the end of the class. <laughs> Very good job. At one, you survive. <laughs> at the end of the class, it's like, decir a teacher no te que se apure que vamos a ir a jugar. Okay, very good job, Mr. Juan. Very good job. Another victim, another volunteer. Another volunteer? Only one? Another volunteer? Juan, choose one person. Juan, please choose one person. Okay. <laughs> Juan uh, lo va a elegir. Why? Because because you are because you are Juan Hernandez. Yay! Okay. Mm. Choose one. Hi, teacher. Okay. 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 <laughs> you. Se libró. Mr. Luis Arevalo. What sports do you play? I. No, no sé si para el ejercicio se dice play también. No, uh, remember. No. Wait, 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 wait. Al cuadro. No, al cuadro. There you go. Do exercise. You can say, I do exercise. Or I go to the gym. Right? I do exercise or I go to the gym. Okay. <laughs> Aquí no ha pasado nada. Okay. Mr. Luis Arevalo, welcome to Questions with Teacher Nati. Tell me, what <laughs> sports do you play? I go to the go gym. Uh -huh. Who do you go to the gym with? I practice gym alone. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go to the gym? Mm. Teacher, no me acuerdo cómo se dice cerca. Near, near. Uh, near of my house. Okay. How often do you go to the gym? Mm, every weekend. Every weekend. Uh, what time? What time do you go? Uh, at, at 3 p.m. Okay, at 3 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Okay. Two questions with teacher Nati. Good, very good. <laughs> you see? Yeah, you have a very crazy teacher. That's very nice. So this is the use of the questions. You have to make, you have to be very careful on the type of question that you are answering, because if not, you are going to get confused of answering where, when, what, how often, right? You have to listen to the starting point of the question. Estas preguntas las van a encontrar en muchos casos del idioma. Cuando ocupamos what, who, where, how often, when, what time, okay? Lo que va a cambiar son los complementos. Si hablamos de deporte, si hablamos de comida, si hablamos de eventos, si hablamos de situaciones, de actividades, the questions are going to be the same. Esos son WH words. Se llaman WH words. Palabras con WH. ¿Por qué? Porque llevan WH. <laughs> WH words. What, who, where, how often, when, and what time. If I say, for example, Mr. Maximo, lo vamos a agarrar aquí en frío. Mr. Maximo, what do you do on Sundays? I, I do work. I work. In my say, house. In my say, house. I work in my house. Who do you work with? With my wife. Where do you work? In what place of the house? 
in the garden. How often do you work in the garden? In the weekend. Every weekend, right? Every, Every weekend. weekend. Every what, weekend. What time do you start? I start at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning, you see, very good. You see, you can use the WH questions for any type of topic. If I ask, for example, Arvin, what do you eat for breakfast? I eat... Huh? What do you eat uh, for breakfast? I eat uh, a sandwich and uh -huh. cookies. I eat a sandwich and cookies. Who do you eat with? Con quien comes? Who do you eat with? With my partners. With my partners. Where do you eat? In, in the office, in the cafeteria, in your house. In the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. Uh, what time do you eat? Uh, a, a middle, in the middle morning. In the middle of the morning. So you see, excellent, Darwin. Very good answers. So in this case, I use with activities, with sports, with food, right? And the only thing that I change is the information, right? I change this information. So. If, for example, uh, I am going to ask Patricia. Patricia, where do you work? Where mm. do you work? In an office, in a factory? Yes, I am work in the office. I work in an office, right? I work uh -huh. in an office. What time do you enter? What time um, do you enter? I, I eight. enter at eight, right? I enter at eight. Good, very good. With jobs, right? So the only thing that changes is the information. Thank you to all my volunteers that were a little bit forced, right? Mi, mi voluntario un poco forzado. You did a very good job answering the questions. So, uh, everything clear with the meaning of the questions? Quedamos claro con el significado de las preguntas? Yes or no? Yes? Yes, teacher? No, teacher? Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Yes, teacher. I, I appreciate that. Very good. Yes, teacher. So, if we are clear with the use of the questions, we are going to practice. Okay, si ya me dijeron, sí, teacher, todo chévere, todo claro, tírenme ocho ejercicios. There we go. <laughs> I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. The question is, do you usually watch soccer? And the answer is on Sunday afternoons. What is the question that we need? When do you usually when do you, when do you, ah, I had that there. Okay, it's okay. Okay, when do you usually watch soccer? Let me just erase this. <coughs> when, when do you usually watch soccer? ¿Por qué ponemos when y no usamos how often? ¿Quién me ayuda? Porque está dando como un día en específico. Very good job, right? Because we have a specific day. It says, do you usually watch it at home? What do we need where, here? Where, where, uh, where do you usually? Where? Why? Porque Why, le where? está preguntando dónde usualmente lo ve. Ah, we are looking for a place, right? We are looking for a place. A Very good. Over. Not at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. How often? 
How often? Why? ¿Por qué? Because we have Para what? Cuánto. Because yes. <laughs> Because of <okay. laughs> What? Yes. <laughs> That's, sí, porque sí. That's like the answer. Where do you live? In a house. <laughs> Where were you born? In the hospital. <laughs> How often? Because it's a frequency, my dear Juan. Because it's a frequency. <laughs> yeah. Me sentí como la mamá cuando le contestan. Ve. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. What? What, what? What do you go? Mm, no. What time? What time? Thank you, oh, Maximo. <laughs> Very good. What time? What time do you go? Because you have usually at about one o'clock, right? You have a time. Uh, just... Oh, yeah. Do you usually go with my sister? Who? 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 Why? <laughs> Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us <laughs> next time. Okay. Como los chicos tomaron el poderío para darnos las respuestas, ahora las chicas van a ser las que practiquen el speaking. It says, let's go with Cynthia. Cynthia, are you back? Hello, Cynthia. I'm here. <laughs> She's there. Okay. Uh, let's practice the first one. It says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Uh, really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch, watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Thank you, Cynthia. Very beautiful okay. pronunciation. Mm -hmm. The next one, number two, is going to be for Maritza and Patricia. Go ahead. Um, how often do you go biking, reading? Emma tendría que contestar o lo dejo todo sola. No, no, no. She's going to answer. Maritza, answer. No le entendí, teacher. You have to practice the conversation. Ya Patricia leyó la primera línea del número dos. Que es este. Tú vas con la letra B. Go ahead. Ay, mi oído. Maritza. Oh, it says, oh, about once a month. Oh, about once one a month. Um, a month. Pati. I love to to go biking, reading. I go every Sunday. Really? Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Well, usually, usually, which my sister come which us next time. Very good job because you are brave enough to practice. Very good, very good. Listen for pronunciation. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Very excellent job. So, Teacher, yo quiero practicar también. Mr. Luis. Mr. Luis <laughs> is going to go with uh, Iris. Go ahead. Y así me corrige. Go ahead, go ahead. Number one. Okay. I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Favorite? When? Favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? 
on Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch this? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has already big television. Very good job, right? Favorite, remember, favorite. favorite. The favorite. next one, when you say like, where do you usually watch it? Where do you usually watch it? At home? It says, no, at my friend's house. At my friend's house. He has a really big television. Very good job. We need to remember, favorite, okay? Mr. Thank Maximo you. and Rosario, number two. How often do you go by reading? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by reading all every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about um, o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister comes by who's next time. Okay, come with us. Come with us next time. Come, come with us. Come. come with us. With us next, next time. time. Very good job. Thank you very much. The next one. Let's see the final couple that I am going to ask for practice. It's going to be chun chun chun, Mr. Omar and Elizabeth. Number one. I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No. At my... My friend house. He has a really big television. Very good job. Excellent. Excellent practice, my dear students. Well, we are going to finish today with the final exercise of the night. And for this one, I am going to give you the chance to work by yourselves. In this one, you are going to do it alone. And I need you to write the sentences on your notebook. I have here the answers. I need you to write the questions, okay? I need you to write one, two, three, four questions, okay? Four questions. And here I have the answers. I usually play with my sister and some friends. I need the answers on the chat or on WhatsApp, okay? So if you send me question number one, you say number one and the question, number two and the question, number three and the question. It can be on the chat on the, on the class or on WhatsApp. So you can say number one, imagine that I sent the first one, what sports do you like? And I have here, what sports do you like? And I sent there. Number one, what sports do you like? I need you to send me the number of the question and the uh, on, on the chat or on the WhatsApp group. This is going to be question number two. This is going to be question number three. This is going to be number four. And this is going to be number five, okay? So hands on the keys, go ahead. There you go. Send me the answer. It can be on WhatsApp or it can be on the chat. Go ahead. Answers, answers, answers. Estamos esperando recibirlas. All of them, all of them. I haven't received any. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Who is going to be the first one to send me the questions? ¿Quién va a ser el primero? There you go. I have the different answers. I usually play with my sister and some friends. We practice on Saturdays. We start about noon. We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach, okay? I need you to send me the answers. I have one, I have one already, that's cool. 
Two, very good. Okay. Juan, I need the questions. Number two, who do you play? Very good, Elizabeth. The next ones. If not, you can send them to me on the WhatsApp group. It's perfect. Excellent. When do you practice? Very good job. Number two, who do you play volleyball with? Excellent. Who do you play with? Very good. Fantastic, fantastic. The next one, I need all the other ones. When do you practice? Excellent. Okay, we have 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I have one in WhatsApp, very good. When do you practice? Very nice. How was it? Five, four, three, two, and Keiva, one, and zero. Very good job. <laughs> the time is over. The time is over. Las apuestas se cerraron. Let's see. Le vamos a dar un punto al que envió la primera. Chen, chen, chen. ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Here you have, yeah. le vamos a dar un punto, <laughs> le, vamos, <laughs> le vamos a dar un punto a Elizabeth. Ta-da, a big one. <laughs> le vamos a dar un punto a Elizabeth, y aquí está, un punto. Ta-da, un puntito, una estrellita a Elizabeth, because she was the first one. She was the first one, I will give you a heart for you. Very good job. So the question for number two, I usually play with my sister and some friends. What is the question? Who? Do you play with? Who do you play, play with? with? Very good. We practice on Saturdays. When do you practice? When do you practice? We start about noon. At what time, what time do, do you, you start? Practice? We play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you play? Where do you play? Fantastic job to all of you. It was a very beautiful class for you to practice a lot of grammar. Well, my dear students, it's all for today. I am going to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to talk about abilities and talents, okay? So don't miss the class for tomorrow. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Yes. Thanks, yes. teacher. Yes. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Good night a todos. ¿Quién dijo Miss Mrs? Miss Mrs? Okay, Elizabeth. Miss Mrs. 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 Miss Un oral, este, yeah. usted nos va a decir sobre qué, yes. nos va a enviar sobre qué. Ahorita mismo. <laughs> Así, <laughs> teacher, porque yo estuve ausente one week. At... Yeah, so I am going to send you the information right now. Ya la van a ver ahí en una imagen que le voy a enviar. Okay. okay? Gracias, Miss. Feliz noche. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.